I wanted to mention before we get started that I just launched a brand new web design by one of my valuable students, Mary Beth. Mary Beth basically whipped together these graphics in a weekend. So my hat's off to her. If you want special deals, now I have deals on this website, but if you really want the special, special deals, the only way to get my in-depth training A to Z packages is to my valued reseller students, one of them being Mary Beth. So if I click here under Better Deal, it's going to tell you all about my reseller program, where students basically can provide you with better discounts and the fee, 70% of your fee, goes towards their online business and the growth of to help their families. So if I click right here, this is going to take you to thinklearnearn.partners and you click right here and that's going to help me find a student near you. Now, technically, it doesn't matter if it's online, if the student's near you, but you probably want somebody in your time zone. So if you have questions, you can talk to them or ask them questions. So again, thank you for being here. Check out the new site, redesign, thinklearnearn.guru. And please don't make fun of my avatar. <laughs> the people over at Adobe do that for me. So I'm very thankful that they did that. But I look like I'm a, uh, I was from like uh, Egyptian times from 5,500 years ago. Anyway, thanks for being here. Enjoy the next video, and I will talk to you soon. Good day. Okay, so here's a very valuable production technique. When working with types of web ads that you're going to put on your website or any type of graphic that you want to output and keep the size. Very important step here, working with Adobe Illustrator. It doesn't matter what version, any version past the past five years, you can do the same thing. Now, the key to making this work, and for those of you that have worked at Illustrator before but never really got into artboards, artboards is the key to production techniques in Illustrator for graphics. Therefore, you don't have to basically copy, paste, make a new file, et cetera, et cetera. So what you'd want to do is create your original document to be the size of whatever your original graphics is going to be. So if it's a 250 by 250 banner or whatever size you want it to be. Now, really cool about Illustrator is that you could have multiple artboards, of course, but those multiple artboards can be different size. So you can have vertical banner ads, horizontal banner ads, square banner ads. In this particular case, what we're doing is let's say that you have a series of different ad promos. You want to offer different prices, different packages, et cetera, et cetera. Now, here's a good production technique. Okay, I have my color palette up here. So this is the color palette I choose to use for my particular ads, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I want to do is work smart here. Now, I could go ahead and turn this into a template. When I save this, if I save this as a template and open it back up, then I don't have to worry about writing over past work. And that's a very valuable technique. So you might want to get in the habit of saving as a template. Okay, so let's get started here. So what we want to do is I have this set up that my colors on top are locked into place. So I don't actually delete them or select them. And other things I don't want to have access to. I only want to be able to change the price and maybe the type of course or the product, whatever it is that you're doing. So I have my artboards here. So here's my artboard for, for plan A. Here's my artboard for plan B. You can do that by just clicking into them like so. All right. So how this works, command zero, I'm going to fit this back in window again. How this works is I can export artwork per artboard. Say that five times fast. So let's say as an example that I wanted to um, let's say I wanted to basically duplicate this process. So here's my first artboard. Here's my second artboard. I can clone this by dragging it right down here to create my third artboard. Now, what has happened here, which is important to understand, when I clone the artboard, anything that was previously locked is not going to basically be moved over. So that's an important step. And that's part of the reason why you might want to consider saving your file as a template. So let's correct it. I'm going to command Z undo this for a second. So if I go back to this, everything in here is locked. So if I can my layers and unlock things, I don't have to unlock my colors, but I want to unlock everything else here. So now when I go to my artboard, and duplicate the artboard by simply dragging it down to the icon. I forgot one step. I had some of the graphics locked. Anything about the object is under the object menu, object lock. So part of the reason I didn't copy over because I had those graphics locked. So I'm going to go to artboard once again. Three times the charm here. I'm going to select right here and boom. So now I can call this whatever I want to call it. So let's call that add, add offer three. Okay, make a change. 
save a change. So I'm going to save the changes. And again, if this was a template, you don't have to worry about driving yourself nuts. So now you can change whatever you want to change here. And here's the secret to making this work. I now go to the file menu. Anything about a file is under the file menu. File export. Then based on these choices, because software simply comes down to choices, I'm going to go to my desktop. I'm going to call that new ads. So I can call this up on top whatever it wants. So let's call this uh, let's call this ads batch one. Now here's the trick: you don't want to export that as a PNG. You want to export that as an artboard. Now since I have all my artboards here, one, two, three, I can say I want to export all my artboards. But let's say you have 20, 30, you only want to deal with certain certain artboards at a time. So basically, you can put a range right here. So in this particular case, I'm going to export all my artboards and I'm simply going to hit export and hit OK. So what that did for me, if I go to Command O Open, I could see that there is my new artboard ads separated out one by one. Here's the first one, second one, third one. So it's a really cool production technique because you get more bang for the buck and you don't have to reinvent the wheel. That's my super cool production tip for the day. Thank you for being here. My name is Robert Farrell. If you need more training, you want to learn how to do this the right way, I've been doing this for 27 years. So if there's a faster, quicker way to get through your production techniques, if you want to be a rock star, if you really want to sign, shine at your job for your coworkers, etc., etc., go to thinklearnearn.guru. Now, I just launched a brand new site, Web Design. One of my valuable students actually redesigned the graphics for me because, quite frankly, I didn't have time. She did a great job. Mary Beth is just amazing. She did it in a weekend for me. So, thinklearnearn.guru, you'll see the brand new site. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you. Have a good day.